Room Tokyo One Way, Yokozo. Welcome to my channel. When uh, you come to Japan, there are two words, two phrases that you will hear lots of time. And these two phrases are Gaman Suru, Gaman Shite, and Shikata Ganai or Shoganai. These two way of saying reflect reflect Japanese mentality very well and you have to adapt in some form to this way of thinking. Gamansuru means uh, endure, tolerate, be patient, while shikataganai or shoganai means there's, there's nothing you can do, there's nothing it could be done. So it's like a serpent biting his tail because you have to tolerate and be patient because there's nothing that can be done and there's nothing that can be done so you have to endure and tolerate. When I first came to Japan, I, I really got nervous every time I was told Kamanshite or Shikataganai, Shuganai. And uh, now that many years have passed, I can understand a little bit better what they mean. Although in some cases I still can't accept this kind of uh, answers. Reading on the internet various blogs, etc. I've seen that my feeling is the same feeling of many Japanese persons, but uh, I've seen also the reaction that some persons uh, writing, for example, I don't understand this uh, this thing. Um, endure, be patient, be tolerant, and um, for example, persons who who wanted to quit their job, or they wanted to leave uh, a sport club at school they didn't enjoy. And uh, reading from the answers, I've seen that they received answers like uh, now you have a job, uh, you have a contract in a company, why, why you want to quit? It's stupid. Uh, maybe in another part or in another job would be the same. Or uh, think about your family think about the, the problems or the headaches you will give them and uh, for example the person who said I, I don't like for example being in a um, basketball club 
let's say you are a loser if you quit or persons just will not um, greet you uh, if you leave the club because you didn't endure it, you didn't tolerate the situation. And uh, the sad thing is that many persons who think this way, who think that they can't endure any longer a situation or that they can't hold their tongue because otherwise you will hurt another person they they suffer they suffer inside so you don't say what you really think not to hurt the other person and at the end you're hurting yourself so in a certain way it could be considered noble because uh, instead of making suffering making suffer another person you you take it on you but how much can you take and uh, also if you are in a job you don't like you you have to go there every every morning and work long hours and, and you don't enjoy it and it's really a sacrifice for you and then thinking about your family and all your responsibility and these things it brings lots lots of pressure stress on a person and um, I think that here in Japan the most important thing is that you have not to disrupt the harmony it should be an harmonious society an harmonious group if there are elements that are going to unbalance this harmony, create troubles or create discussions or uh, it won't be good for society. And uh, so I think it reflects also on the friendship and uh, human relation because uh, for example you have a, a friend I'm talking about real friends not, not, not a qui uh, acquaintances friends or uh, family and uh, when you have a problem or something is uh, troubling you you are going to your friend or your family and ask for advice or um, just comfort uh, and that's what I'm doing too and what my friends do for me here in Japan this is not the habit you are not going to uh, have a friend and tell him or her all your troubles because you are going to give a burden to the person who is listening to you who probably has already its hers or his own problems so most of the time they will uh, answer you 
我慢して endure it tolerate it and、uh, they will also get a little bit upset if you have this kind of behavior going there and telling all your troubles、uh, and things while for us it could be also speaking about it it could be、uh, like a、um, relief valve something you you just put it out your feeling and then usually you feel better but in a certain way i do understand japanese because when you have a friend who is in trouble who has family problems uh health problems etc you listen to your friend and you put a part of his burden on your shoulders because he is your friend or he she is your friend and you want to try to help and you have this sense of compassion but at the end it's not、uh, an inconvenience because you feel you feel for them but it drains out your energy and in a society like japanese society Uh, which is so stressful so needy uh putting more stress on you it's not a wise thing so usually japan persons are used since they are small they are children to uh think for their own Uh, thinking for their own means、uh, you have to be independent you have to take care of your own thing and、um, when you grow up this feeling grows with you so you have to endure what's what life puts in front of you and you have to do it by yourself and it's like i've read somewhere it's not good to have friends because they will put if you have friends um you will be burdened by all their troubles so it's it's a little bit a difficult uh subject this one because if you live in a society you are not alone so you have to live with other persons and be as harmonious as you could be if you act out like always complaining always saying no i don't accept this no i don't want that no I, it will、um, disturb the quiet and the life of other persons in the same time if you are always how can i say so strong to endure everything on yourself you will suffer alone 
inside of you and uh, what kind of society is this? Yes, it could be harmonious, it could be, uh, how can I say, safe or um, uh, there won't be confrontations, but uh, is this the right way of living? Are we all destined to be alone? And uh, here it comes again the, the phrase Shoganai. There's nothing you can do. It depends. Sometimes it depends. Sometimes if you want, you can find another way. But if everybody tends to push you out and you will become an outcast, so yes, there's no, no other way. And uh, I took the positive side of this thinking only for some, some things in life. There are things in life that it can't be avoided. You have to, to accept because really there's nothing you can do. And uh, sometimes by accepting it, you will find a sort of peace inside. You are not always going to to be nervous, to be sad, to be um, worried. It's like this. You have to accept it. No matter what you do, things won't change. So, I really don't know what to say uh, and what this video can tell you. But, if you live in Japan, be prepared to affront this kind of mentality. And... Uh, don't think to find good friends in Japan because of this mentality. Maybe there will be the exceptions, uh, but till now I haven't found any. Persons can be compassionate, very compassionate, but it depends on the matter, it depends on the situation, and uh, you have to stand up for yourself to endure what's happening to you by yourself. You don't have to ask for uh, pit not pity, but comprehension from other persons because they too have their problems to afford and uh, they can't physically and psychologically afford to take your problems too. So, so Japan is a society where 
confrontation is avoided and uh, they have a way of thinking and of behaving some Japanese persons don't accept it but they adapt and uh, I think that these persons are the most vulner vulnerable because they they feel it in their heart, they feel it in their soul and uh, it's a big burden it, it's a big burden if only they would talk a little bit more if only they could uh, behave differently maybe it would be a happier society but this is my point of view because I'm not Japanese I can't say you should do this who says that my way of thinking is the right way of thinking if it has worked for them till now maybe we are in the wrong then of course I'm talking about my experience and what I personally think this doesn't mean of course that all of you who are watching the video should think or behave like me I just wanted to make this video to advise those of you who are coming to live in Japan of what it's the common mentality of what to expect and it could be a strong cultural shock because Japanese persons are very polite for example they are not rude they will always try to help you if you have some kind of problem uh, but it's hard to find compassion and speaking of compassion is in a couple between friends you have to be strong you have to be strong you have to be uh, well balanced and uh, of course you can live happily here if you find the right partner or if you have your friends or it depends there are many many ways of of living your own lives all of us we have different expectation we have different way of thinking etc etc and um, I would like, really, I would like to know what do you think about this topic, if it's the same in your country or in your culture, 
and um, maybe open a kind of discussion in the comments below. I finish here my video. I hope I had uh, summarized more or less what I wanted to say. It's not my intention to offend anybody and uh, if you like the video please give a thumb up. If you didn't like it give a thumb down but please explain your reason in the comments so it will help also me to maybe to understand better the situation and uh, of course if you like my videos and you were you we sorry and you wish to be updated on new ones coming out uh, please subscribe and for those who don't know if you click on the bell every time a new video is uploaded an email will be sent to you thank you so much for your attention and hope to see you again on my channel thank you so much have a great day bye